All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Thursday live stream of Skyrim, where, of course, we're continuing on with our modded character here. And I was able to do a bit of leveling and some various buying and selling of goods off cam since Tuesday's episode. And not as much as I was hoping. I was hoping we'd get maybe, like, well, we were roughly around 70 for our two primary skills, and I was hoping to get like halfway to what we need for 80 to get the master's level stuff. I'm a little bit shy of that. I think with, yeah, restoration got the 74, alterations up to 73 now. But on the good side, holy crap, I made a lot of money on potions. I have just been doing so well with potions recently because not only have I, you know, been getting some better ingredients, but also... Uh, it was a couple of episodes ago that I got the skill in alchemy in here where, uh, let's see, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's this one. I can turn one, one alchemy lab in the world into an advanced one, which makes the potions 25% stronger at that one and only alchemy lab. And so, of course, I did the one here in my home, and yeah, so that made all of my potions even better. So whenever I make potions, I come back here first. And yeah, I actually had to go to every hold we know how to get to sell all of them. <laughs> it took me so long. So many cart journeys. I spent several hundred on carts, but I made thousands. It was magnificent. So actually, what do we got um, money-wise right now? So I've got almost five grand on me, which I really should put in the bank. And let's take a look at our passbook here. Holy crap, we got over 50 grand. Freaking awesome. Yeah, we've got everything we need now to finish up our college education in Winterhold, except for the skills. Once we get our skills above 80, at just one of them, we can finish the College of Winterhold quest line. Yes! Yes! Oh, thank God. Oh, it takes so much money. All right, and also, knights here, as you uh, call attention to the creation club. Wait, what? What, what? what did I call attention to the creation club for? I, I, I have no idea where you're going with that, knights here. But all right, let's uh, move on. And uh, I guess, for now, continue with the main storyline. Because, yeah, I guess we're just kind of moving on. To, oh, yeah, I didn't get the, the horn of Jorgen Windcaller. All right, so over to Riverwood we go to the Sleeping Giant. Oh, boy, to meet those people. All right. Also, did I... Hold on a moment. It did. <laughs> I was started working on laundry, and I was hoping my dryer would be done before the stream. But no, it just... It just stopped, of course. <laughs> oh, I was hoping to get everything in the, into uh, the closet before starting. But nope. Oh, well, what are you going to do? So let's teleport over to White Run and then get moving. Nightseer, wow, it took me forever to get anywhere near 100,000 the first time I played the game, but here you are plowing through it. And don't forget, we have mods that specifically make the economy more difficult. <laughs> Sell prices are worse, and there's just less good stuff overall. So, uh, yeah, we're, we've been doing pretty good, doing pretty good. It's all mainly been the potions. Quite frankly, the potions have been my moneymaker. Every time I spend a little while between episodes uh, doing that, I make thousands. Because it's just... It's easy. <laughs> and the uh, ingredients for them are freaking everywhere. So you're not really at a lack of free resources to make cash. Honestly, yeah, the... Uh, like, the loot we get off of enemies in dungeons and whatnot is a small portion of our overall wealth. Most have come from alchemy, which actually on that, how many potions have I made now at this point? Which one is it in here? I think it's in, yeah, crafting. So I've mixed 1,517 potions and 852 poisons. Nice, and we've made thousands and thousands of gold off of that. It's wonderful. And Night's here. Nope. I just kind of run through whatever ingredients I have. And oh, we have a child stuck in the ground. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, I just kind of make whatever potions I have the ingredients for. 
and you just roll with it. There we go. But yeah, definitely the advanced alchemy lab has really helped in that regard. Because more powerful potion means better sell price. And God's Magic, I'm a fan of your mod videos, both Skyrim and Fallout. Thank you, glad you enjoyed them. And Philip, I am doing well this evening. I'm back to playing Skyrim, and who doesn't enjoy that? Granted, you know, I'm not entirely happy that we're working on the main storyline, finally, but, you know, eh, gotta, gotta fill the time somehow until we can finish the college. <laughs> gotta get our education. And let's see, Jay got a new D&D book, Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. It was pre-ordered and was supposed to show up a week from yesterday, but it showed up today. All right, nice. Always good to get a new D&D book. Man, I have not bought a D&D book in years. <laughs> oh, man. Bought, you know, like the rule books ages ago, like when 5th edition first came out. And then more or less just either use my friend's books when we're over it doing things or look up stuff online. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't bought one of those books in a long time. Good stuff, though. Granted, I also haven't played D&D with anyone in ages. Eh, eh, eh what are you going to do? Ooh, you know what? While we're passing by here, I'm going to harvest these beehives. Haven't done that in a while. And those are alchemy ingredients. Yes. Potions. Yep. 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 Oh, God. There we go. I'm over the fence. Okay. Oh, nope. Turn this way. I do that every time. I always cross that bridge and then re realize, like, halfway down that road. Are we going the wrong way? Yes. Yes, we were. <laughs> All right. And Nightseer, most you ever got money wise was 200k in this. Oh, man. I have far surpassed that on. Oh, God. This was ages ago. I did a playthrough where I had installed a lot of mods that allowed you to, like, build up businesses. Like, I had a farm over there on, like, that side of Whiterun. I owned a mine over by Solitude. And even started building a small town over by Riften. All of which made me grab loads of cash. It was great. Quiet you, I could destroy all you Thalmor. Simple. <laughs> Probably. I mean, maybe. Also, have I, is Erendur not following me? <sighs> he isn't. He got stuck somewhere. I'll summon him eventually. <laughs> uh, we'll summon him when we need him. We actually shouldn't really face anything we can't handle on the road to Rift in here today. Hmm. But yeah, you know what? Now that I think about it, I haven't actually seen a lot of mods like that that I was just mentioning in a while. I mean, sure, plenty of uh, mods that let you build farms or and homes and whatnot, but none that are actually businesses. I haven't seen any of those in a, quite a long time. Huh. And Knights here, what's the yellow bar above the compass? Uh, it's... I'm forgetting now. It's one of the things to do with my... Uh... I think it's coverage. I think it's the coverage for the weather stuff. I'm not entirely remembering that correctly, though, but I think that's what that one is. You know what? We can look real quick. Nope, wrong thing. Just because I'm not remembering quite entirely at the moment, either. I mainly pay attention to the, uh... Yeah, yeah, that is coverage, because over, the, over here, on that side, is the temperature and how wet I am, and then that one should be coverage. But yeah, Frostfall... Meters... General meter. Oh, so that's the exposure meter. Okay, okay, so how exposed we are. Alright. I've genuinely never really looked at that one. I always pay attention to the ones on the uh, upper left. Those are the important ones. Alright. Oh, which on that, I mean, I don't need it, but it helps with my alteration skill. Let's just pop a random bear skin. Boom. There we are. <laughs> that can't be a little bit of experience. Yay! Alright, well, into the inn we go! Sleeping giant inn. Hmm. Oh, and Jay, back up to Tasha's earlier. Tasha's is amazing, a number of subclasses, and even the ability to customize your race. Ooh, interesting. Alright! Hi, Delphine! 
You're that visitor been poking around. Uh-huh. Uh, apparently, I'm, I'd like to rent the attic room. Attic room, eh? Yeah, but you don't have an attic, well, so, you know. We don't have an attic Exactly. Room, but you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Ten gold. I'll take a room for ten gold. And there we go. <laughs> Waiting for. So you're the dragonborn. I am. Would you like me to shout? Uh huh. I think you're looking for this. Oh, okay. Cool. The horn. Follow me. Oh, do we have to? I just rented this room. I needed a nap. Ooh. Also, I need. To, I forgot to do this before we left. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Oh no, I'm down to 177% with Mara. Oh god. All right. All right. There we are. And let's roll. Into the back room. Let's close this for privacy. Oh yeah, you have a hidden entrance, don't you? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Forgot about that. Well. Privacy. <laughs> okay. So, Delphine, tell me about the blades. Blah, 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 blah. Ooh, I can take it. Hello, I can take all these. Yeah, I'll leave them. Even though it's not steel, it makes me feel bad. <laughs> the Greybeards you? think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they're right. I am. I am. So... <laughs> Sorry, I'm supposed to meet someone here. Uh, are you dense character? I mean... <laughs> so you're the one who took the horn, eh? Surprise. I guess I'm getting pretty good at my harmless innkeeper act. I mean, not really, no. Uh, da, 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 da. Again, kind of douchey, but um, what's with all the cloak and dagger? You can't be too careful. Thalmor spies are everywhere. Well, that's fair. What do you want with me? I didn't go to all this trouble on a whim. I needed to make sure it wasn't a Thalmor trap. Mm -hmm. How do you know it still isn't? Enemy. I already gave you the horn. I'm actually trying to help you. Now, see, I you're getting a little, you a little, a little mad, and I really haven't said anything that should enrage you here. But um, I kind of want to. But all right, go on. I'm listening. Like I said in my note, I've heard that you might be Dragonborn. Mm -hmm. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. I know, Blades. I've someone like you for a very long time. If you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. Okay. Hmm. Eh. Yeah, let's go with that one. How do I know I can trust you? If you don't trust me, you were a fool to walk in here in the first place. I mean, I could kill you very quickly. I, it, it wouldn't even be an issue. I would barely break a sweat. So, why'd you take the horn? I knew the Greybeards would send you there if they thought you were Dragonborn. They're nothing if not predictable. Mm, yeah, true. When you showed up here, I knew you were the one the Greybeard sent, and not some Thalmor plant. And how do you know? I could be a very good Thalmor spy. Why are you looking for the Dragonborn? We remember what most don't, that the Dragonborn is the ultimate dragon slayer. You are the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Mmm, tasty souls. Can you devour a dragon's soul? Well, I mean, when I kill one, I get I get absorbed by, or rather, I absorb energy, so... Oh, yeah, that's basically what I said. <laughs> this is no time to play the reluctant hero. You either are or aren't dragonborn. But I'll see for myself soon enough. Mm-hmm. All right, said so the Thalmor after you. Yes. We're very old enemies. And if my suspicions are correct, they might have something to do with the dragons returning. But nah, it's just Alduin being Alduin. What is important is that you might be dragonborn. Okay. So what's the part you're not telling me? Dragons aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. Well, yeah. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead, killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, and I need you to help me stop it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, do you know how crazy this sounds? <laughs> a few years ago, I said almost the same thing to a colleague of mine. Well, it turned out he was right and I was wrong. Mm-hmm. And what makes you think dragons are coming back to... Oh, really? Really? 
I mean, well, I guess technically our character at this point has really only seen dragons who have attacked him first. We haven't seen the actual, like, empty graves yet of them, but yeah, all right, so we'll go with it, though. I know they are. I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty, and I figured out where the next one will come back to life. Oh, did you now? You're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. All right. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. Okay, okay, okay. Uh Yeah, so where are we head? Kynes Grove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. And Nightseer, uh, prior to Skyrim, I don't think the Thalmor were in any of the lore. They are definitely in newer lore in Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, but yeah, I don't think they were in previous... Skyrim games, or Elder Scrolls games from what I can remember. I might be wrong on that, but I don't recall them in Oblivion and Morrowind, etc. But alright, let's go kill a dragon! I need to get into my traveling gear. Yeah, 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 alright. Alright, cool. I gotta I gotta call my companion anyways, who seems to have just disappeared. He does that sometimes. Don't, don't mind him. He's a good mage, though, so, you know. Well, that was quick. Alright, let's move. <laughs> Out through the wardrobe. Let's get on the road to Kynes Grove. Got it! All right, now through that door too. <laughs> and yeah, Nightseer, like I said, I'm not remembering at the moment, but I'm not, I don't know. I know we've seen the blades for ages, but yeah, I really don't remember the Thalmor prior to this game. Someone look that up, Kinds quick, to the way. USB. We can travel together <laughs> or split up and meet there. Your choice. Well, considering we both have to walk, granted you're a pro, oh, no, oh. Oh, wait, no, that's to go back to High Rothgar. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let's turn off this one right now. And locate Dragon Burial Mound. I also accidentally placed a marker down. Oh, I will be back. I will find my way there myself. <laughs> I am not running all the way there. I will teleport to Whiterun, take the stables... And go over to Windhelm. Alright, let's get the teleport out. Uh, da, 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 teleport. And... Uh, kaboom! Alright, let's roll. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Hmm. And Jay, if, I, if you remember correct, correctly, the Thalmor annihilated the blades when they took power in Valenwood and Ediswear. Yes, that's that's the the general lore in this, but we're just talking about if they were in the previous games or if this was their first appearance. And yeah, Knights here. No, we're not following here. This is going to take too long to get all the way to Kynes Grove. <laughs> that's just way too much. Way too much. Hi, dog. All right. Go over here. You know what? Maybe I really should move that teleport marker to be over by the cart, because that's what I come here for most of the time. <laughs> Seriously, like nine times out of ten when I'm coming to Whiterun, it's to grab the cart because it's my best way of fast traveling. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps I should. Well, I do kind of like it being by my wife's place because I do visit her from time to time. Still keep forgetting to download that one mod that allows me to move her into, like, faction homes and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll move this. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do that because it's definitely, definitely better to have it down here. Nightseer, well, that's true, Nightseer, once we do get the other teleport spell, but that's still gonna be... At, honestly, probably, maybe by next Thursday, we might be able to have that, to possibly. Yeah, I'd like to hire work? this. Let's go to the right one. Select Windhelm rather than Winterhold. I've done Come that a couple of times. We'll be off. <laughs> uh, and Bionicle Jackson, do I have the Parthenax Dilemma installed? I... I don't know. I don't remember. You ready to go yet? <laughs> I, I genuinely don't remember. I've got a lot of mods on here, and I don't remember half of them. Hmm. I'll have to look that up later. Wolvorce, I really hate the Thalmor. Not like I wish they weren't in the game, but they are fave to hate. Fair. Fair. 
And J. Again, I do not think they were ever mentioned because the Elder Scrolls takes place within the Third Era. And Typer Septum conquered Tamriel and Numidium after Ascent after Somerset. True. All right. So let us head to Windhelm and head south. Perfect. And let's actually call up Arendur. He's hasn't been with us since the beginning of the episode, so <laughs> he might be stuck back at, at, at our beacon home. So yeah, let's grab him out. Oh god, it's also nighttime. Alright, well, you know what? Oh, Arendur, hey! <laughs> Welcome! Glad you could finally join us. Let's get out the conjure shelter. And... Kaboom! There we go. Right in the middle of the road. The most inconvenient spot ever. <laughs> good times. Good Oh, I forgot to grab more firewood. Crap. All right, well. Sleep. Uh, yeah, like... Yeah. There we go. Okay. And... Waiting on it. Oh god, we're gonna be cold. Boy, I should have gotten some firewood. Nah, there should be a... There's an inn in Kynes Grove. Hopefully there's a wood chopping spot. We'll cut some up real quick. Alright, well, well rested. Let's dispel. Sorry. Sorry, guardsmen. Kind of in the middle of the road there. I apologize. <laughs> oh god, I'm already cold. Oh boy, yeah. I really shouldn't have slept there without starting the fire. Oh boy. Oh god, we may have to teleport or do something stupid. <laughs> I know, Kynes Grove's just up there, so you know what? Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. Oop. <laughs> A little bit quicker. <laughs> uh. Ooh. Creep cluster. Gold, it's gold. It is! Like, super gold! Need to get into Kynes Grove. There's an inn. Must warm. Oh, Delphine's outside somewhere. There we go. A little quicker. Oh, she's in front of the inn. No. No, you don't want to go up there. Oh. A dragon. Oh, I know. I know a dragon. Oh, you're okay. Okay. Uh, dragons attacking Kynes Grove. Well, I don't know. Not yet. Oh, like that one I hear right now. On the old dragon mound. Cool. I hear it. I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. Cool. I'm, I'm going to stand by this fire, though, real quick. Ah. Uh, oh, Del Delphine, no. No, stay. Oh, God, it just got real cold again. All right, you know what? Delphine, you're on your own real quick. I'm going to go inside. <laughs> uh. She'll be fine. She's a necessary NPC. She'll be fine. <laughs> All right, let's have. I think I got some, yeah, vegetable stew. That tends to help with my warmth. There we go. And some hunting brew meat, just cause we can. You good there, Andrew? Let me actually change up my spells here real quick while we're waiting. Let's get a uh, timely reinforcement out and then get prepare the one of the healing hands. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll stick with that. We'll stick with that. Let's warm up for a bit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure hope she's fine out there. <laughs> Just kind of left her to warm up. It's definitely one of the downfalls of Frostfall. Oh no, something action-packed is meant to happen here in the quest line. Wait, wait, hold on a bit. I need a fire. <laughs> okay, okay. Almost there. And... I could, Erendur. Already had one, though, and you know we're good now. Let's roll. <laughs> You know what? Before we roll, while we're moving, let's actually get another bear skin. Yeah, that'll probably be a good idea. Yep. And pop, and then back to healing hands there. All right, let's move. Up we go. I see it. I see the dragon. Let's kill him. Oh, it's Alduin up there. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. We can't kill him. <laughs> Not yet, at least. Oh, wait. No, I can't. I gotta go around a bit more. Why does it have to be so cold here? Alduin, how dare you pick a place that's so freaking cold? 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure he can see us right here, Delphine. I mean, it's, it's, it's not a great hiding spot. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, I begin to warm up, apparently. Really? Mm-hmm. Steady. I don't know what's happening. He's raising a dragon. That's what's happening. This is worse than I thought. Yeah. Thanks for the new enemy to fight, Alduin. I appreciate it. Oh, he's all he's all bones right now. Good times. Good times. Hi. How are you? Alduin Turi. Boanti dvokri ha shulikse jun kuzik. Ke salakmir kalimir. Mhm. Oh, hi! D they're talking about me, Delphine. You do not even know our tongue, do you? Not yet, no. Such arrogance. I'm learning. I'm learning. Come on. The name of Dova. Uh huh. Okay, kill that dude. Got it. <laughs> All right, and whoop. get him! Heal him to death very slowly, apparently. Oh, he's a tougher one. He's a tougher one. Aaron Durr, you better work your magic here. Literally. All right, my time to reinforcements hitting good. Delphine's getting some shots in. Aaron Durr, where's your fireballs? There's a fireball. We're good. We're good. He's doing his job. Also, he just suddenly got a lot better weather. Nice. Perfect for the epic fight. Oh, there went my timely reinforcements. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Also, my magic's almost down. Okay, and your mastery of restoration serves you well. You gain an additional perk. Awesome. Also, I need to go into here real quick. And... Boom. Yep. There we are. He's almost dead. He's dead. Where'd Alduin get off to? Wait, hold on, Delphine. One more thing has to happen. The whole the whole soul thing. Give me a moment. I just gotta consume this. <laughs> Alright, well, that worked out well. And all of that. Mm -hmm. Yup, there's the soul. You you believe me now? It's good times. Alright, hi Delphine. God's above. Look at that. Yeah? I am. You gonna continue here? Or are we? Uh, oh, okay, I owe you she's some done. Answers, don't I? Yes. I owe you some answers, don't I? You do. Go ahead. Whatever you want to know. Nothing held back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So who are you, and what do you want with me? I'm one of the last members of the Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were dragon slayers, and we served the Dragonborn, the greatest dragon slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. I'd hope so. To stop them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So what do you know about the dragons coming back besides Alduin clearly raising them as we just saw? Not a damn thing. Nah, fair. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. That would be Alduin, seen him before. Oh, yes, I've seen him before. Really? Where? Well, <laughs> oh, oh, I was about to be killed. Well, actually, no, we weren't. No, we weren't. We did alternate start mods, so we saw him leaving Helgen while we just bumbled about up that way. It was the one that attacked Helgen when Ulfric escaped from the Imperials. Interesting. Same dragon. Mm-hmm. Damn it. We're blundering around in the dark here. We need to figure out who's behind it all. Uh, well, she literally just said what the blades are. So what's our next move? Oh, exactly. damn it. What's that? Ow. Nobody even remembers our name these days. Yeah, huh? We used to be known across Tamriel as the protectors of the Septim Emperor. Yeah, you didn't do a good job at that. Those days are long gone. Yeah, because you failed. For the last 200 years, we've been searching for the next Dragonborn to guide and guard as we are sworn to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we never found one until now. You're welcome. So yeah, what's the next move now? The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. The Thalmor are our best lead. The 
If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So what makes you think the Thalmor? Nothing solid, yet. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere, indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? Well, considering the, you know, dragons will attack them too eventually, the, uh, not not really them either. Uh, so we need to know, or find out what the Thalmor know about the dragon. Any ideas? If we could get into the Thalmor Embassy, it's the center of their operations. In oh, time. God, I remember Problem doing that. Oh, no. Tighter than a miser's purse. Yep. They could teach me a few things about paranoia. So how we getting? Mm, I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. I will see you in a very long time from now. This is only going to get worse. All right, later. Ooh, I got the secret door key. Also, I saw loot over here. <laughs> when Delphine was cowering behind the rocks. Where was the, where was the rocks? Here was the rocks. Aha! Oh, that's why we were getting warmer there. I didn't notice a fire I was standing right next to. Uh, I'll take that and that. There we go. All right, there's a woodcutter's axe, but not an actual place to cut the wood on. Dang. All right, well, down we go. Back to the village and hopefully to get some firewood so I don't accidentally, um, you know, freeze to death in the future. And take that. Lovely. Okay, let's see. Oh, yes, Malachite. Well, I know where to mine it now. Okay, let's find a place to cut some wood so I have some in my inventory. Nope. Alright. Nope, no actual chopping block here. That's unfortunate. Alright, it's gotta be like around nearby here, considering the inn. Mining is hard work. Nope. But we pay a fair price for any I'll take those, and those, and those, and crap, I don't, oh man, there might not be one here. Or at least not one that I know about. Easily findable, that's unfo, wait, nope, round, nope, not here. Dang it. Well, 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 all right, well. I don't know if we'll be getting firewood that we need. Which is unfortunate for us and our survival. <laughs> really? Is there seriously no chopping block around here? Hmm. Oh, death bells. All right. I guess we roll somewhere else. Well, maybe down there by the by the mill. Let's go check the. Oh God, Cliff. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're alive. Yep. Oh, come on, I have two prayed in a while. I literally just did it moments ago. Ooh, that's not the right button. <laughs> I am going to yeet myself off a cliff at some point with that. It's happened before. <laughs> All right, pray. Oh. All right, there we go. There we go. And we've prayed. All right, is there seriously no chopping block here either? For the love of crap! I just need firewood! We're at a freaking mill! Okay, okay, okay. Well, what we need to do now, oh god, is... I don't want to talk to her yet. Let's return the horn. Ugh. Show on map. Oh my god, we gotta go all the way over there. You know what? I was trying to think if our best bet would be to, like, head back to Riften and then walk that way, but honestly, with where we are, it's not that different. <laughs> It'd be roughly the same distance to run from here as it would to run from Riften. Ah. Oh. Dang it, and I really need firewood, too. Ugh. Hmm. Still can't believe there was no chopping block up there. Well, yep, let's run this way. Let's get on the move. 
God, he had... Oh my God, I placed a marker on the map again by accident. Why do I do that every freaking time? <laughs> All right, let's move. Why am I along here? My guard. Ignore me! Bionicle, stone hill on the path. Hmm? What, uh, what you talking about there? Also, yeah, bear skin. Gotta keep popping those while we're moving. Dragon's tongue. Some nice creep cluster. We got a farm coming up here. That's good. Maybe we can get... Maybe we can find some chop and block there. Or we got another mill down here. So we have some potential opportunities here. Oh god, there's also a house over here. Ah, oh, it's across the water. Never mind. I'm out. <laughs> hmm. Oh god, a lot of creep cluster. Nice. Actually, I don't think we've actually gathered this prior to today in our journeys. So I may need to actually, uh... Eat a piece of that. Hmm. Well, we definitely seem to be off the path from that farm now. And Erender's last thing he said seems to be stuck at the bottom of my uh, screen now at this point. Cool. Alright, there's gotta be a chopping block up here. This seems to be a functioning... Ah, fu oh, we got we got bandits. Alright. And pop that right next to the dude. <laughs> Ah, uh, you die! Take that, bandit! And... Boom, and... Boom. Oh, uh, they're dead. I will take these... What up? Alright, got one of those. Nice, nice, nice! This spell looks dangerous. It's Deep really not. It's a healing spell. It's definitely not dangerous. All right, mix water mill. There's got to be a cho ha -ha! chopping block. Yes. Oh, there we go. Let's get ourselves some firewood. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And J-Storm, do not forget to say hi to the morning giant if you come across him. Oh, I vaguely remember that. And Wolf Horse, just FYI, my eight-year-old's playlist now includes Poet Soldier King. Hashtag nerd out, John Denver, Peter Paul, and Mary, Disturbed, John Prine, and Imagine Dragons. An interesting playlist. I approve. <laughs> uh, actually, don't know. Hashtag nerd out, though. I like the name. I'll have to look that up later. <laughs> hmm. I know all the others, but that one I do not recognize. All right. And yet, lost, much like any Bethesda game, since they all run off the same freaking engine. That's why they all have the same glitches. They've been basically using the same engine since Morrowind, and that's why there are still glitches that still exist in Skyrim and Fallout that have been all that have been with their engine since all the way back in Morrowind. <laughs> it annoys me. All right, we're good. That's enough firewood. I said leave. I said leave. I'm stuck in the animation. No. All right. What? Well, oh. My axe disappeared, though. All right, we're good. I got real worried we might get stuck in that animation forever. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. All right, let's get the crap out of Dodge and control. Oh, Jesus, you just popped out of the out of the ground. Hi, traveler. How are you? All right, those are. Oh, it's those dots. Oh, those guys. Crap. All right. Oh, there's some fire. There we go. Timely reinforcements right there. Did they hit that poor woman with a stray firebolt? They did not. Lovely. All right. Kill the cultists. They did nothing. Nothing but death. Oh, wait. There we go. And they're dead. Perfect. I'll take... God, you know what? I want all their stuff. Yeah. Definitely. What about you? All your stuff? Yep. And you? Eh, yeah, yeah, definitely I'll take all... Man, your guys' robes are pretty nice. Money-wise. 
Ooh. An illusion spell that I'll never use. I'll take it. <laughs> Let's move. And Jay, to help your memory, Morning Giant is in the Hot Springs area watching the... Oh, yeah! I remember that now. Nice. Ooh, that must be one of the uh, minor god altars there. I'm intrigued as to which altar it is. Let's go check it out. We're, of course, not going to use it because, you know, glorious Mara. Oh, God, let's try not to fall in the water here. Hup. Oh, hi, wolves just standing there at the edge of the river. Oh, God, I'm kind of falling in now. Oh, yeah, they're not angry at me anymore, are they, with that one thing that we have. Do I still have that? I mean, I must. Here, have timely reinforcements. Yep, nope, they're good. Okay, okay. Ah, I'm back to praying. I was going to try to wooled over there. There we go. Alright, what thing is this? Oh, Sun Heights. Oh, oh, I thought this was like one of the minor god altars. It is not. That's unfortunate. Man, those wolves really want those people over there. Yep. Nope, didn't, didn't make it. I surprisingly didn't get wet, though, from that. All right. Oh, goat! No goat! No! <laughs> He's gonna fall into the... Oh, poor guy. He is gonna go over the waterfall. God, I also cannot stay on this rock. Oh, he actually made it across. Good on him. And I am entirely soaked now because I missed the rock. All right, fine. I'll just continue swimming. All right, let's move. Well, that didn't go well with the jumping. That's unfortunate. Let's continue on our way. Okay, okay. Kind of want to go over there, but now let's move it to High Rothgar. And let's see. And Wolf, Wolf's jump over, well, catch you. They could. But thankfully, though, they didn't want me dead. We're going to, yeah, Iverstead. This way. Follow the road. Oh, God, yeah, we still gotta go around there. <laughs> oh, my God. Why did I decide we weren't fast traveling in this? <laughs> Until we get magic to do it. Oh, well. Who's in that, who's in that fort? Eh, we'll leave him be. <laughs> hmm. And Nightseer, we're heading to go deliver the horn of Jorgen Windcaller. So heading back up to High Rothgar, which means we gotta make it there. Ugh. Oh god. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Well, those look like bandits. Yep, bandits. What? And boom. And boom. Oh, nope, didn't get the two. Didn't get the two hand. How dare you! Hit me with freaking lightning. And you're dead. Beautiful. Time to loot. Yeah, I'll take the boots. All right. And you. Yeah, I'll take the boots too. To wait, the money ratio is fine. Okay. Armstead. Up the mountain we go. Okay. Jay's throwing the saddest thing ever in Skyrim. The poor giant is not at all hostile. Hell yeah. I don't know if it's the saddest, but at the moment I can't think of one that is. <laughs> Uh, whoop. I understand. I really don't remember ever taking this path. <laughs> Granted, I've don't. I, it's been a long time since I've ever come to Iverstead from this direction. So, all right, I'm just gonna follow it. There are road signs. <laughs> Pinnacle level 64, and yet to kill that poor giant yourself. Probably good. You know, you don't want to be that guy. <laughs> And let's see. Around the corner. 
Boy, this is a hike. And we still got to make it up the steps again. Ugh. <laughs> All right, we're good, though. We're good. We're going to be fine. Hi, Fox. Yeah. Now the road's still kind of that way, but let's see if we can beeline it. Nope, that's a waterfall we can't cross. All right, back up the winding path. Dang it. Boy, yeah, I can't wait until I've got the level 80 alteration. That's going to be so nice. Then we just teleport wherever we need. Well, at least anywhere on the outside world. <laughs> oh, hi, folks. How are you? Oh, Vigilance of Stendar, huh? Good luck. Continue being vigilant, I guess. All right. Oh, oh, uh-oh. Oh, no. <sighs> the game just crashed on us, guys. Um. Hmm. And yeah, Knights here, I can use the spell while I'm indoors, but I can only teleport out to places in the outside world with that spell. Oh, no. I mean, I'm going to start the game back up because I don't remember when was the last time the game saved. I think it's... Oh, God. I think it's been a while because I haven't gone inside or anything. We've just been wandering in the outside world, and there's no auto saves in the outside world. I honestly think we may be back before fighting that dragon. If that's the case, I'm ending the stream here because I'm, I'll have to do all that off cam this week or this weekend. Because, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, damn you, Skyrim. Oh, man. That's bad. <laughs> Crap. All right, all right. Let's wait until it loads up, see what, uh, see what the damage is. Oh, God. Yeah, I really think the last time it auto-saved was when we slept in the Conjure Dome. I, I think the Conjure Shelter was the last place. Oh, nope, it's when I left the inn before fighting the dragon. I forgot we did that. Yup, that's how far back we are. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lost Ranger, past vigilance. May Stendar be with you. Me, nope, I'm out. <laughs> Game crashes. Damn Stendar, he cursed me. Jealous of me being with Mara. All right, well, guys, that's going to be it for this episode then today. I, unfortunately, a shorter one, but yeah, I'm going to have to replay that and uh, that section, and then I'll get us up to Iverstead off camera. Oh, yeah. And then next week, we will turn in the horn of Jorgen Windcaller. And actually, since I have the weekend now uh, to work on stuff more, I'll spend more time leveling. Hopefully, I'll get us up to the 80 we need and at least restoration so we can finish the college quest line. Because after we turn to the horn, we'll focus on that and I think that'll be good. But yeah, folks, that's going to be it for today. Hopefully, you all have enjoyed and you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching and as always, have a good one.